Last month, we told you about Robert and Harriet Banks and their Valentine's Day plans. Robert sent his wife 67 roses for their 67th anniversary. Our Lindsay Buckingham caught up with their family and shares the impact the couple has had on everyone who's met them. If love is like a flower, then the love of Harriet and Robert Banks is a garden, their compassionate nature helping them grow. Our parents were role models for so many of our own friends. And so, you know, everybody knows my parents. Robert, a military veteran, both teachers, passing down morals to everyone they meet, their children and grandkids, students and church members who call them Ma and Pa. But ask them about each other. Robert admits at first, it wasn't easy. I thought she was a nice person. I didn't think I was going to marry her. <laughs> she was actually going with my friend. <laughs> but he saw her coming home with me so much. That was more than 60 years ago at Kent State University. Since then, Robert reminds Harriet of his love on Valentine's Day, or as they know it, their wedding anniversary every year. Tell me what you were thinking when you decided to send your love that many roses on Valentine's Day. Well, it was really sort of a habit. Every fifth uh, year, I'd give a yellow one. So I just calculated this last one. I needed 13 yellow and uh, 48 red ones. So every fifth year was a yellow one. 67 roses delivered to Harriet's door, one for each year of the love they shared. This one could be their last. Harriet's Alzheimer's worsened during the pandemic. She lives far away from her love at an assisted living home. The thought of living without her, too much to take. What do you want people to know about Harriet? <laughs> She's a good person. I want my grandma to be at peace and I want her to be happy, but I just also want her to know that she did an amazing job that with so many people that wasn't even her blood relatives. She was just amazing. And she touched so many lives. Through life or death, together or apart, the love of Robert and Harriet Banks continues to bloom. Any success that I may have, it's because of them. And any of my <laughs> failures is because I didn't heed the lessons that both of them taught me. Quite a couple. Our thanks to Lindsay Buckingham for that story. Lena. Wow, so much love there.